What's up guys, Aplastech here with another diagnostic video, hope you guys like it. As per customer today we have a 7KW core power generac that did not exercise this week, so let's see what's the problem. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe button to get more videos in the future and help our channel. Open up the four locks and uh, we'll see what's going on inside. Yeah, so we see the screen, it's just uh, on off position. I think the customer tried to put it on manual and auto, it didn't work. And they called us uh, to check it out. So uh, I'm pu pushing it on manual. I can hear the, uh, it's not cranking. It's tr it tries to crank, but it didn't work. So this is the fuse. I check the fuse, fuse is okay. And now I push it, put it back the fuse and I check it back to the manual. Uh, it doesn't work. It's just uh, flashing all the lights because it means it doesn't crank. Yeah, so the battery is at the side of the generator. It's a back uh, top. Uh, so I see the general the batteries there, but usually we have experience with the batteries and look at this I see that the batteries 2014 installation so automatically uh So now it's all clean up and let's put the new battery. I'm gonna open the terminals now. Uh, here's the negative terminal and this is the positive one. As you guys see that is a very tight space to work. I cannot even uh, work with my two hand because the air condition is too close to the generator. Please keep in mind in the future if you're installing any generator it has to be three feet away from the air condition at least.
Yes, it's always recommended uh, to check the oil when you're doing any maintenance, any repair on the generator to see the oil is clean and also it's up to the level which is a manufactured a recommendation. So yeah, I see that oil is very clean and it's up to the level. I don't have any problem with the oil, so let's put it in back. Yeah, so guys, everything looks good to me at uh, this moment. So let's uh, fire up the engine and see if it's uh, if it's running or if it gives us more problem. But I'm sure it's good. There you go, guys. The engine is running. And the problem is solved. That's all guys for today, the engine is up and running, hope you guys liked the video, let me know if you have any question, write it down in the comment section, I will try to get back to you. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe button to get more videos in the future and help our channel.